you better get used to that, kiddo. Mm. Hey, Emmett. You gotta wake up and eat something. Get you a bottle. Let's talk about milk. Drunk. Rebecca asked how my breastfeeding experience has been going with a kid with a congenital heart defect. Um, pretty well. The whole breastfeeding thing, I have some hesitation uh, with actually breastfeeding because I don't know how much he's getting and it's really important for him to gain weight. And the doctors at the hospital stressed that he needs to be eating 60 ml every three hours um, and how do you know how much they're getting when you breastfeed um, we can do pre and post weights uh, weigh them naked before weigh them naked after and you can get an idea of how much uh, milk they got that is such a pain <laughs> and I was doing that because they wanted me to but since he has been gaining um, pretty consistently they didn't require me to do that anymore, but they do keep track. I do have to weigh him at the end of each day to make sure he's gaining every, every day. At least 20 grams per day he has to gain. Okay, so feeding a baby with a congenital heart defect. Um, these kids go home with a, an NG tube, a nasal gastric tube. goes down their nose and into their belly. And we had to learn how to do that, how to insert it and test it and we get these uh, pH testing strips to make sure that it's actually in the stomach because I guess it could turn and go into the lungs and you don't want to be putting milk in their lungs, that's bad. Uh, the way that you feed via NG tube, you get a fun giant syringe and a tube and you do like a gravity fed. Uh, system the lower it is the slower the higher it is the faster the feed so we actually had did not have to use this at home we use this in the hospital they didn't want to wake him up at night so they use the gravity feed system at night um, but we just wake him up and feed him it's not that hard um, again as far as breastfeeding goes I don't exclusively breastfeed I will be going back to work at some point so it's very important that he can take a bottle and he does that very well so I've been sometimes breastfeeding and then pumping sometimes just giving him a bottle um, and then pumping uh, sometimes I breastfeed and he still seems hungry so I give him a bottle after that he's a hungry hungry kid which is good because he needs to be in the weight um, I think I, hopefully I answered your question, Rebecca. Oh, I just want to brag a little bit about my supply. My, I think my supply has been pretty good. I'll show you a video of my freezer stock. I think it's pretty good for about a month old. Yeah, he's almost a month old. It's pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for your questions. Again, feel free to ask me any more questions and I'll try to answer them. We are attempting to go on an adventure. 
with both of our kids. We'll see how this goes. Good job, Pepper. She didn't freak out until like she was done. She does this every time. Hey, eat that.